When I was like six or seven years old, my dad was, was an EMT and he was volunteering in Union. And uh, he progressed, became a paramedic and then became a nurse and then became a director of a hospital. And I was just getting to the age where I was running out of ideas and running out of things, choices that I wanted to do. So I said, let me give it a shot and see what my dad does. So I started to volunteer in the same town that he did. And uh, I liked it and I actually was really good at it naturally. So I just kept, kept continuing to volunteer. And eventually the volunteer organization that I was volunteering for decided to pay for my uh, certification classes. Basically my day starts off at 6 o'clock in the morning and ends at 6 o'clock at night if I'm lucky. We have uh, a base station that shoots tones over, over a loudspeaker and that when those tones go off that means we have a job, we have a call, we gotta go. We deal from with anything from somebody with a language barrier to a little old lady who's just lonely and needs, you know, just needs to talk to somebody until these, you know, we also deal with these horrible car accidents where you get on scene and there's multiple patients, everybody's going crazy, there's, you know, multiple fatalities, other people are becoming patients because of the situation going on around them. Uh, you know, car accidents are, are the worst, really because you have to extricate a patient and uh, it takes a while to get them out of the car and it's not good when they're sitting in the car, especially if they're in critical condition. It, uh, it's scary sometimes to deal with. I've seen a lot of things in my career from car accidents to infants dying. I've had a girl commit suicide before. She hung herself in a closet. We got on scene in a fast enough response time where we were able to revive her back to life. Uh, she actually, I met her later on in life as well after in a rehab center, uh, which was a really rewarding feeling. You know, there's ups and downs to the job though. You see a lot of great things happen. You see people recover from horrific things, but at the same time you see these horrific things and not everybody lives and it sucks, but you, uh, you deal with it and everybody deals with it in a certain way. F for me, you know, even when a family member dies, it's, it's just, it just doesn't impact me as hard as it would impact other people. It's just, death becomes a, a numb feeling to some. And, uh, and it sucks because you want to show compassion, but you can't. You're just not, you're just not tuned to, to be compassionate anymore.